everyone, I hope that you are well and have enjoyed the turkey series. Today I'm going to be making a video about money, my big backpacker budget breakdown of turkey and everything that I spent whilst inside the country because I hope that it can help you make more informed decisions when planning your own backpacking trip. And just so you know, this video is not intended to be a guide. I'm not teaching you on how to travel Turkey as cheaply as possible. I'm simply just telling you how much money that I spent when I was in the country based on my own personal travel preferences and my own style. And I'm just gonna be sharing with you how much various things realistically cost in Turkey. So for my latest trip, I budgeted 1,000 500 pounds per month because I didn't know where I was going to be going or what I was going to be doing. I didn't even know if I was going to be staying in Turkey. So I thought that this was a really nice, generous budget to give myself. I knew in particular that it would be generous for Turkey, but I still kept track of my spending. And let me tell you, I felt like I was living a luxurious life in Turkey and I didn't even go anywhere near that budget. So I was in Turkey for 35 days in total, but my final week I just spent in Istanbul catching up on work. So I'm gonna be sharing with you how much I spent in my first 30 days traveling around Turkey. And I will say these prices in Turkish lira and I will put on screen the current exchange rate at the time of editing because you may know the Turkish lira exchange rate is fluctuating a lot at the moment. So make sure you do check the currency exchange rate of your own currency with the Turkish lira at the time that you are traveling. So in 30 days, I spent 21,000 Turkish lira, which is on average 700 Turkish lira per day. And this includes all accommodation, all domestic travel, all food, drink, alcohol, all activities and all basically anything else that I spent in Turkey on this trip. And the way I was keeping track of all of my spending was using the single country budget tracker spreadsheet. And this is a spreadsheet that I created and it is available to purchase on backpackingbananas.com. So I input that my country was Turkey because my monthly budget was 1,500 pounds. That's 50 pounds per day. The local currency is TKL, Turkish Lira. And right now the exchange rate is give or take 18 Lira to one pound. I then input all the places as I was going along, as I was traveling. And then on the next tab, I have the tracker itself. I filled in the yellow cells as I went along and then it auto populates these cells on the right hand side, telling me the total I spent in a day in Turkish currency, the total I spent in a day in my own currency, and then whether I was over or under budget for that day. And finally, if I am cumulatively over or under budget for the month. As I mentioned, I budgeted way too high and so it's green every day because I was under budget for the whole trip. There was only a few days on the trip where it is red, meaning I went over budget just for that day, but normally it was for a very good reason because I was doing some kind of amazing activity. So let's talk about those first as this would be the biggest varying factor of how much your trip in Turkey would cost. Not all the museums in Turkey are free. Some are, some aren't, but the particularly impressive museums tend to cost around 100 lira to 110 lira for entry. For example, it was 110 lira to enter the Pamukkale pools. It was also 100 lira to enter the Cleopatra pools. I only went to a handful of these museums, so just paid for them ad hoc, but you can actually purchase a museum pass to enter all the super cool museums in all of Turkey, over 300 of them for 600 lira. So this could be well worth it if you really like museums and plan on visiting a lot, but it's worth noting that it's just valid for 15 consecutive days once you start using it. There are other museum passes that you can get and I will link the website with that info down in the description. I went paragliding in Ola Deniz, which is a huge bucket list thing to do in Turkey. I paid 850 lira for the tandem skydive, including pictures and videos. I believe it would have been 650 lira if you do it without pictures and videos. We went with a company called Gravity for that. In Cash, I went scuba diving, which is renowned for being the best place in Turkey to go scuba diving because of the awesome shipwrecks. We didn't actually do a wreck dive, but it was still lovely visibility. As I am qualified, I did two fun dives and this cost 500 lira. All equipment included and a fun morning out on the boat. 
If you are not qualified and want to do a discovery dive, this costs 275 lira for a 20 minute taster to scuba diving. We went with a company called Nautilus in cash. In the little town of Olympus, we did some awesome rock climbing. This costs 400 lira per person. It was a huge three hour excursion, including all the equipment like ropes, harnesses, special shoes, your guide, a really cool thing to do in this part of Turkey. And then finally in Cappadocia, we did a hot air balloon ride and ATV tour. We booked this as a little package with Kose Pension House. So I think we got a little discount for booking them together and we paid 919 Turkish Lira each. That was for us both to go in the hot air balloon. We got a lovely certificate at the end. And then for us to share a quad bike on the sunset tour, which was about three hours. You pay per quad bike and not per person so if you have your own quad bike that will be marginally more expensive. Now let's move on to accommodation. Generally I would have considered myself a flash packer on this trip when it came to accommodation. I started in a hostel but then I started traveling with Jeremy and the big group of boys and we were staying in big Airbnbs together and splitting the costs. In total I personally spent 7,000 lira on accommodation in 30 days. The cheapest accommodation was this small hotel in Pamukkale, which was 160 lira per room, so 80 lira each. The most I spent was 600 lira on my very first hotel near the airport in Istanbul, but it was huge, so understandable, and I paid for it myself, not split with anyone else. The actual most expensive hotel I stayed in was in Cappadocia. We wanted to treat ourselves in our final destination, and this room was 834 lira per night, but split between the two of us, I paid 417 lira per night. But like I said, I spent 7,000 lira in 30 days, so on average, that was give or take 230 lira per day for accommodation. Now moving on to travel expenses, we got a combination of bus, train, taxi, and plane around Turkey, so a real variety. In total, I spent 2,750 lira on domestic travel expenses in 30 days. The highest prices there being my three internal flights, but even they were very affordable and they all included checked in baggage. Flying from Istanbul to Izmir cost 355 lira. Flying from Antalya to Kayseri cost 343 lira. And then flying from Kayseri to Istanbul cost 304 lira. Now let's talk about food. In total, I spent 6,850 lira in 30 days. So an average of 230 lira per day on food. And this includes my food, drink and alcohol. I won't lie, I partied quite a lot. So a lot of this expense is alcohol. You can eat and drink for a lot cheaper than I have if you only ate the local cuisine and did not drink alcohol. You can eat for as cheaply as 10 to 20 lira in some places, but I'd say I spent 50 to 100 lira on an average meal and finally let's talk about a few other random expenses that I spent my money on in Turkey my Turkish sim card with 20 gigabytes of data which I bought at the beginning of my trip cost me 300 lira we did laundry only once using an external service this was 140 lira for five kilograms I actually split this with Jeremy so we paid 70 lira each and then for the rest of our trip we would always do our laundry in our accommodation we specifically booked Airbnb which included a washing machine and you may have seen in the vlogs that I often got a blow-dry in most places in Turkey a wash and blow-dry costs 40 lira and one time I had a wash cut and blow-dry which cost a hundred lira and that is about it that is my big budget breakdown for everything that I spent in one month in Turkey like I said I really felt like a lavish flash packer on this trip you can travel Turkey spending a lot less money if you want to by staying exclusive exclusively in hostels, by drinking less alcohol than I did, by eating just more of the local cuisine and less Western food. And also, of course, by not doing any of those big bucket list activities. But I hope this video has at least helped you in planning your trip and given you some perspective and a little indication as to how much things in Turkey generally cost and how much you might spend in Turkey, depending on your own travel style and preferences, because of course we are all different with this kind of thing. Please Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to my channel for more content like this and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!